In this video, I want to show you how to connect your Android device, could be a tablet or also a smartphone like this one, to your Canon PIXMA TS4320. I'll show you how to print and also how to get the scan result directly on your Android device. So let's get started right away. The first thing we need to look is directly on the printer. So the printer needs to be in pairing mode. And if we take a look right over here, this is the pairing button. The light above the pairing button needs to be green, turned on green, like it is right now. If on your printer, this light is turned off, keep press the pairing button during one second and the green light will come out. If it still doesn't appear, press on it during three seconds and then the light should turn on. All right. Once this is done, go on your Android smartphone and we need to get the Canon print app. Open the Google Play Store, search, okay, click on search and then type Canon print. This is the app we need. Open it. On the home page of the app, you're going to see this button search. So this is what we will do. If you already had some printer connected to the app, go in add switch and then you'll be able to add the printer. Once you see this message, when your printer is detected on the next screen, tap the button to connect your printer, press next. And over here, tap on connect. The printer will be connected to the same following router. This is the same Wi-Fi as your Android smartphone. So simply press yes. And now type the password of this Wi-Fi. Press done. OK, and now the printer will connect to your Wi-Fi. Once you see this screen, it's just Canon trying to sell you stuff. So press the X button to close this. OK, and now you see the printer is now connected to your phone. Let me show you how to print and also how to scan. So to print, you have two options. If you want to print a picture, select photo print. If you want to print a document, like a PDF file, select document print. And this is what I will do. Now it's time to find the file that you want to print in the memory of your Android smartphone. This is the file I want to print, so I'll tap on it and it will appear. Press next. And now you have a few options. If you want to print all the pages of that PDF document, if it was one or simply one of them, it's up to you. I'll select all. I'll press OK. I'll press no. And now you can edit these settings. Make sure that they are appropriate. By clicking change settings, you can change the number of copies you want to print, the paper size on what um, the document will be printed and other things. If you're printing pictures or photos on glossy paper, you need to go in media type and select glossy photo paper. This is very important. If you're simply printing like me on a regular sheet of paper, keep it to plain paper. Over here you can select if you want to print in black and white or in color and if you want to print on one side of the page or both sides. I will select both sides since this document has two different pages. Go back and press the print button. Do not exit the app, okay? I suggest you put your phone aside and wait until it's done printing. And this is the result. Since I have selected both sides of the page, you can see it has printed on both sides. It looks great. Now let me show you how to scan and get the results on your Android phone. So I'm gonna press OK. I'm gonna exit this. If you want to scan, you're going to open the scan lid of the printer like this and you're going to notice there is an arrow on the top left corner over here. This is important to align our page. So you're going to take whatever you want to scan, place it facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side of the printer, just like that. And then we need to bring the top left corner of the page so it touches the top left corner of the scanner. This is how you know that everything is properly aligned. On the app itself, on the main screen, you're going to notice there is a scan button. Tap on it, press OK. 
select in which folder you want the scan to go on your Android smartphone. Let's say I want it to go, I don't know, um, over here in documents. I'll select use this folder, allow. And now there's a few different settings before pressing the scan button. So I can click change settings. You can select in which format you want it to be saved as a JPEG or as, or as a PDF. Um, over here, original type, select if it's a document or a photo that you're scanning. Select if you want to scan in color or in black and white. And finally, you can select the size of the document you're trying to scan. I'm scanning on a letter size, US letter size. This is why I will keep it this way. And at the end, press the scan button. Again, do not leave the app while everything is happening. It will take around 12 seconds. So now we have the result. And if you have a document of multiple pages and you want to combine them in one PDF file, go ahead, input the, the next page. And on the app, you're going to press scan and you can have multiple pages and the app will combine them in one single document. In my case, I just want to scan this one. So I'll press exit and I'll get file saved. So it got saved in the folder uh, that I have selected previously. Press OK. And if you want to share the result with, let's say, uh, different social media apps or with your favorite contacts, you're going to press this over here, this logo on the top right corner of your Android smartphone. And you'll have multiple options of different apps that you can click and the scan result will be shared in that app. You can also click the three dots, click close and continue using the app. But overall, this is it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, check my Amazon links down below if you want to get some replacement ink cartridges for your TS4320, if you want to get some paper or even a brand new printer. Every time you go through my Amazon links, I get a small commission and it helps my channel. See you in the next video.